when talking about the current Cyrus, the phony virus crisis, people give you the same lame excuse uh, to virtue signal and stand on their fictitious moral high ground by saying, I don't want to risk it. It's the same response that Colin Powell gave uh, in a response to Scott Ritter's denial of Iraq's weapons of mass destruction. The rhetoric of fear that is disseminated by my government and others has not to date been backed up by hard facts that substantiate any allegations that Iraq is today in possession of weapons of mass destruction or has links to terror groups responsible for attacking the United States. And Scott isn't certainly entitled to his opinion, but... And Powell began to virtue signal by placing his hand over his heart in reverence uh, to the fictitious potential loss of lives due to non-action. I'm afraid that uh, I would not place the security of my nation and the security of our friends in the region on that kind of an assertion. Doing nothing is no longer an option. Um, and then they go on to make further unsubstantiated claims like, do you remember the cave fortresses in Afghanistan? There was constant discussion about him hiding out in caves, and I think many times the American people have a perception that it's a little hole dug out of a side of a mountain. Oh, no. This is it. This is a fortress. Yes. A complex, multi-tiered, bedrooms and offices on the top, as you can see. Secret exits on the side and, the end, and on the bottom. Cut deep to avoid thermal detection. A ventilation system to allow people to breathe and to carry on. The entrance is large enough to drive trucks and even tanks even computer systems and telephone systems. It's a very sophisticated operation. Oh, you bet. This is serious business. Real serious. 100% serious. Like, seriously made up. I met Rockefeller through a female attorney I knew. He's the one who told me uh, 11 months before 9-11 ever happened that there was going to be an event. And I remember he was telling me how <laughs> how he's going to See soldiers looking in caves for people in, in uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan and all these places. This is a fortress, yes. a complex, multi-tiered, bedrooms and offices on the top, as you can see. Secret exits on the side and, the end, and on the bottom. It's a very sophisticated operation. Oh, you bet. This is serious business. And, and there's not one of those. There are many of those. He told me that you're going to see men running around caves looking for Osama bin Laden. You know, you're going to see men looking for, you know, these guys, and they're going to be, you know. They told you it was all going to be bull. It was a phony. The whole thing is a fake. It's a fraud. Was he laughing, or was he just coldly saying this? No, it was more laughing. Cynical. Laughing. You know, it's more like, look how stupid everybody is. Look how stupid everybody is. We can do whatever we want to do. What about bin Laden being in the American hospital, getting kidney, getting kidney help? Yeah. Right? In the American hospital. Yeah. Right? They, they could, if they wanted Osama bin Laden, they could have gotten him. Oh, yeah. It was right in the American, after the coal. We're dealing with complete evil. We're dealing with complete evil. Do you remember the, the mobile biological and chemical weapons labs in, in, in Iraq? Mobile production facilities used to make biological agents. We have diagrammed what our sources reported about these mobile facilities. Here you see both truck and rail car mounted mobile factories. As these drawings based on their description show, we know what the fermenters look like. We know what the tanks, pumps, compressors, and other parts look like. We know how they fit together. We know how they work. And we know a great deal about the platforms on which they are mounted. Hmm. It just goes to show you the link that they'll go to to make a lie seem real and authentic. We have no evidence of Iraq ever having uh, laboratories on the back of trucks. I investigated both of these for over five years and um, I took in teams equipped with sophisticated, sophisticated ground penetrating radar. We not only didn't find buried facilities, we found out that most of Iraq is not conducive to underground facilities. So I don't know where these facilities are that Donald Rumsfeld speaks of. Powell himself at the United Nations, the one place where you want to go if you're going to lie to the world until half-truths about intelligence blatantly lies about Iraq's WMDs. With CIA Director George Tenet sitting right behind him, knowing that what Powell is communicating to the international community is 100% nonsense. Just like the people accepted the lies as truth then. So successful was the propaganda campaign that by 2003, polls were showing that the vast majority of Americans believed the unfounded claims that Saddam Hussein was linked to 
and that he possessed stockpiles of weapons of mass destruction. In this case, I was saying we've been lied into this as blatantly as we were lied into Vietnam. This was a purely aggressive, illegal crime against the peace. These guys should be brought up in charges. There should be an investigation about whether these guys should be allowed to serve our country anymore. Because to me, it's criminal to say, we're going to send our troops to war based on uh, falsified intelligence, based on puffed up, exaggerated details. People are accepting the lies as truth now. COVID is the new 9-11 terrorist boogeyman, allowing the roundtable groups to merge total surveillance with biosecurity. Stay up to date with everything iconic by following us on all of our social media. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like our videos. Due to monetization restrictions, you can support us by going to patreon.com slash the iconic podcast and make a monthly pledge. We are happy to announce the launch of the iconic label where you can go to the iconic label.com and purchase an ever expanding line of merchandise and gear. And now without further ado, enjoy part two of communist subversion. <laughs>